Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to be walking you through a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use Opus Clip. I'm going to walk you through how you can actually take advantage and use this software, show you all of the features. And then I'm also going to end this video by showing you exactly how you can make money with Opus Clip. All right, enough talking, let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to go to opus.pro. That is the official Opus Clip website. And you can see here, Opus Clip is an AI video clipping tool. It allows you to take one long video and turn it into 10 viral shorter clips. This homepage shows you a couple of examples and highlight some of the features but we're going to dive into all of this right here so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and make an account if you haven't already done so if you need to make an account go ahead and check out the link in the description to get started for free today i already have an account so i'm just going to go ahead and sign in okay so once i'm signed in they're going to bring you to your dashboard here and this is where you add in the link to the YouTube video that you want to shorten up, or you can upload a raw file if you have a file already on your computer. And the file can be as, as long as three hours. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose a YouTube clip to make short for this example. All right, I'm gonna choose one of these videos from my YouTube channel. By the way, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that. I'll grab this here and I'm gonna drop it in here. You can also use Zoom links too, by the way. So once you do that, it's going to give you a summary of how long it's going to take and how many credits it's going to take to actually take this long form video and shorten it up. So out of my credit usage, it's going to use eight minutes and you can see your total credit usage here on the top right corner. Now, before we actually go ahead and start to transform this video, a couple of options here. The caption presents allows you to choose the type of captions you want to use. So there's a bunch of different styles and fonts that you can choose from so you can pick one that works best with you or best with your brand you can also create a template so in my template section i actually have a template that i have created and edited to fit my personal brand there's a lot of different settings here on the right hand side where you can choose the type of video ratio you can choose whether you want this captions to be three lines or one line the colors there's a bunch of different ones this is a little bit more of an advanced feature i would say if you're just getting started you can definitely use some of the curated ones already these are really popular and these ones will do just fine so this option here allows you to only add captions without clipping the the actual video so if you have a video that's already the way you want it you don't want to clip but you just want to add captions you can simply toggle this on to do that and choose the duration of the video that you want to do and then finally this last option here allows you to choose the the segment of the video you want to actually process and the preferred clip lengths that you want to use. So let's say you have an intro and outro to your video. You can simply cut those out here. I'm just guesstimating there, but this is just to kind of show you the, uh, where you can actually cut those off. And then for the preferred clip, I typically leave it to automatic where it's going to give me a clips that range from anywhere from zero to three minutes. But if you know for sure you want to create clips that you want to use specifically for, let's say, YouTube shorts and you want it to be at least 60 seconds or, or less, then you know you could do 30 to 60 seconds or you could do 30 seconds or less. So you can choose multiple different options here that are gonna fit your needs. And then here's an option to actually add a keyword. So if you have a keyword in the actual video that you want to make sure it's highlighted within your shorter clips, you can make sure to do that here. So let's say you have a business and your business is in social media marketing, for example, you can type in social media and this Opus Clip will make sure to create clips that highlight the word social media or any other keyword that you add in here. So this is optional if you want to use that. All right, so let's go ahead and hit this button to get our clips. So when you hit this button, it's going to pop this window up, which is going to, which is going to give you a estimated waiting time, which is going to take about 12 minutes to process this video. And it gives you the actual status of the processing. I actually did this before this video to be prepared. So I'm going to show you what this actually looks like once it's done. So once it's actually done, it's going to give you a bunch of different clips. And I think I think for this particular video, it gave me up to about you know, 10 clips. So you can have longer or shorter amount of clips depending on how long the actual video is. Now to walk you through some of the features here, the cool thing about Obus Clip is that it'll give you a viral score, which basically is their indication of how well your video or short will do on social media if you wanna put it on YouTube. And they grade you on four different criteria: your hook, the flow of the video, the engagement, and then the trend. 
And for each one of these particular topics, it gives you a quick summary of why they graded the particular clip with that particular grade. And typically what you'll find is that your first few clips will have the highest scores. And then as you go down, your scores will get lower and lower. That doesn't necessarily mean that the videos are worse, but that's just based off of their rating, how they do that. But what you can do is you can edit these clips later to, to actually improve them and use them if you feel like you want to actually use them. And so this also provides you with the actual transcript that's being used in the video. So you can see what words are actually highlighted within the clip. Now, if you like any particular clips, what I like to do is I like to go through each one and listen through them. And if I like them, I'll go ahead and heart them. If I don't like them, for example, I can go ahead and hit this down dislike button. Uh, ask me, you know, why do I dislike this? You can say for whatever reason, or you could just say other. And then once you hit submit, it'll take that off from here. Now you can always bring this back if you want to. It'll just kind of make it a little bit easier for you to cipher through the options and figure out the ones that you like best. So once I've highlighted all the ones that I feel like I like or the ones that are close enough, I can choose to either download it directly to my computer and then I can send it to my phone to upload or you can actually schedule them directly from Opus Clip itself. By hitting add account, you can actually add your YouTube channel, TikTok, Instagram, and LinkedIn and Facebook for the pro features. And this allows you to sign into these accounts and then you're able to actually schedule or post these clips directly into your social media platform. So that's super cool that you can do it directly from this platform. But I personally like to download it so I have the copy on my computer. I can upload it to my Google Drive and then I can have access to it on my phone and be able to distribute it how I please. Whatever works best for you is the best way I would go about doing that. But let's say we wanna make a specific change or edit this in some way you can do that by hitting the edit clip button here all right so what you're seeing here is the editing screen now to break down exactly what's going on here the left hand side shows you the transcript of the video that is showed here on the right hand side and the cool thing about this is you can actually edit your video by editing the words in the transcript itself so let's say for example you want to change any of these words in the captions you can simply highlight and you can choose to edit the words here where you can edit them and correct them. Or if you want to actually add and remove clips, you can do that too as well. So let's highlight a particular section here. And you have a couple of options here. You can choose to choose the highlight color, which is gonna show what color it shows up in the actual video. You can actually add AI B-roll, which is also another real cool feature. For example, let's say I didn't have any B-roll in my video. You can actually select a sentence here and add AI B-roll to it. And you can either have it generate the AI for you or the B-roll for you with AI, or you can upload stock videos. And what it'll do is if you select AI generate B-roll, it's gonna analyze whatever sentence or sentences that you've highlighted. And then it's going to generate a couple of options that you can actually use to import into your B-roll. So as you can see here, I added some of the B-roll, which is this right here. And it's basically taking our sentence that we highlighted here and it made this B-roll. I can choose to take this B-roll, drag it and you know, to wherever I want it. And you can also regenerate if you don't like the actual B-roll. Right here, it describes exactly what the B-roll is. Like it's a realistic photo of a laptop screen. But if I wanted to change this to something else, you could simply change the description. You can change the type of video, whether you want photo, realistic, pop art, or surreal. And then you can hit regenerate and it'll create a new B-roll for you that you can add into your video. So let's say you want to add or delete specific sections of your video clip. You can do that too as well. Let's say you want this video clip to end a couple words earlier. You could simply highlight the words that you do not want anymore. And then I could remove the caption, which removes the caption, but still keeps it in the video. Or you can remove the caption and video. And by doing that, it literally crops the video. So that portion of the video doesn't show anymore. Now, if you wanted to actually add a section to the video, you could simply click add a section. And what this allows you to do is it pulls up the whole transcript and you can either highlight the whatever part of the video that you want to highlight, whether it's connected to the current video itself, or you can highlight other sections that are maybe not necessarily connected to the video, but a little bit further down the video, but you would like to splice those two options together. You would simply highlight the lines and then click add 
and it'll automatically take those videos and add them here on the right hand side section. You can see that's being added towards the end here. If I wanted to add a section in the beginning of the video, I would do so as well here and it would add those into the beginning of the video too. Now coming down here to the video editing section, there are a couple options that you can use for each of the images that are shown in the video. If you click the actual video clip, and then you'll see the layout here. There are a couple of options here. Fill allows you to fill the whole screen. Fit allows you to fit the video within the actual ratio that you have the video set to. You can also split, which gives a two version aspect of the video. You can also split in three and four ways too as well. And then you can also do screen share. So a bunch of different options here based off of what your video is about. Let's say if you are doing an interview, for example, for a podcast, then you would maybe want to lay out a split for that particular scene where both you and the host or you and the guest are speaking or if you have multiple people in the video you can lay it out to be four people for example and it would it will cut that up automatically for you so you can actually do that for each specific clip down here and you can fit make the video fit to your liking depending on what's actually going on in the video so on the right hand side here there are a couple other options that you can choose from you can change the aspect ratio of the video if you're using this video for example for like ig reels or youtube shorts then 9 by 16 is typically your go-to. These are the different auto layouts that we just discussed here. And then as far as the caption goes, you can choose to have the captions on or off. In this particular case, if it's on, you can choose to see whether the lines come in three or in one, like this here. You can choose to have the captions positioned in different places of the video. I typically leave it to auto, but you can choose the top, middle, or bottom, depending on your preference. Anim animations for your captions. So if you like your animations to have a little bounce, to be underlined, to have a little pop, these are all different options that you can include. And for each one of these animation options, there are other particular settings that you can choose, like the color, the font, the size, the style, whether you want uppercase or as type. So there are a bunch of different options here that you can use to play with the caption itself. And then with the captions, you can also choose what words are highlighted and what by what particular color. So you can see here, some of these words here are highlighted yellow. Some of these are highlighted green. You can change those here in these settings. The static overlay logo, this is a logo that you can add in to your actual video. And then AI emojis allows you to be able to select if you want emojis to show up in your captions too as well. So this is also another option that you can choose to have in your video. Lastly, in the video itself, if you double click the actual video, it allows you to crop the video and move it to position it the way that you like. So let's say for example, this video, the person is not centered completely. You can actually click and drag and move the video how you would like it. So let's say you want it centered and then hit apply and that will only apply to that specific clip that you are currently highlighting. So if you wanted to change the positioning for each of the particular segments of your video, you have the option to do that there as well. All right, so once we're done actually editing our video, we can hit save changes and then it's going to start to render our video on the next page. On the next page, it gives us a quick estimate as to how long the video is going to take. So it says three minutes here. Typically it actually happens faster, but once this is done actually processing, then it'll be available for you to download or you can publish it and share it completely. Like I showed here, you can publish it and share it on your social media too. All right. So I hope that was helpful. That basically finishes my tutorial with Opus Clip. Now, how do you actually make money with this software? So there are two ways that I would utilize Opus Clip to actually make money online. The first is being able to leverage all of this to boost your content creation. If you're a digital marketer, if you're a content creator and you're selling products online, then the best thing you want to be doing is building a personal brand. And by creating content that is valuable, entertaining or engaging, you are able to get more eyeballs to your website and to the particular services and products that you offer. So utilizing this tool in and of itself is going to be a huge game changer. If you are a content creator that finds themselves being stuck with how to create so much content, or if you have a YouTube channel, but you don't want to go through the painstaking work of editing all of your small clips, this is a great place to actually start. And then you can modify the clips from there. So by boosting the amount of content you are using and sharing with your audience is going to help you create more traffic. And as you create more traffic, that's going to give you the ability to generate more leads and more sales down the line. The second way that you can make money with Opus Clip is to actually become an affiliate for them. And so I'll show you how to do that here. So what we want to do is we want to open 
open up a new tab and we're just gonna type Opus Clip Affiliate. And you'll see the Opus Clip Affiliate program here should be the first option. So you wanna click that and then you wanna apply for their partnership program. And as a partner, you actually earn 40% of commissions plus 6K in extra prizes. So this is a cool way to be able to promote Opus Clip to other people that may find this tool helpful. Like I mentioned, entrepreneurs, online business owners, content creators, influencers, and it's really easy to sign up and join. So you wanna just click apply, you wanna fill out the application. And once you fill out the application, and if they accept you, which most of the time I believe they will, unless you answer something really crazy. They do give you a warning though, however, you cannot promote Opus Clip using ads or PPC. So that's just something to keep in mind here. So as long as you understand that, you can go ahead and fill out the ap actual application to apply to become a part of their affiliate program. So it takes literally two minutes to apply. So once you fill out the application and you are approved, then they're gonna give you a unique link that you can use to put on on your social media and with your emails you can share with your social media following to anybody that might find value by using opus clip and for anybody that signs up for opus clip and get one of their packages then you will get a 40 percent commission on every single sale so another great way to see how to use opus clip to make money online all right guys so that's it for this video i hope you found this video valuable if you did make sure you give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and if you did find that video helpful then you're definitely going to want to check out this video video right here. And lastly, always remember you only live once, so make it count and I'll see you next time.